Hey Scorpio, welcome to your spirit messages. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's see what source has in store for you. We've got the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hermit card. All right, really introspective energy happening here, Scorpio. Quite the opposite energy of the amulet you got, which is Venus, connected to Aphrodite, connected to Taurus and Libra energy. This has um, the Venus amulet has everything to do with self-love, peace, harmony, uh, romantic connections, sensuality, luxury, okay? And now when we look at this reading, we can see that there is a quest here, a search for your new emotional beginning, for a pouring of feelings, for a connection that I think is romantic in nature for many of you, or a desiring to have this romantic connection, Ace of Cups. What Source is saying here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit card is that this quest that you are on for emotional fulfillment, emotional satisfaction, whether that be in romantic relationships or in your career, is a path that is meant to be nurtured and a path of longevity. This isn't about arriving at the destination. This isn't about instant gratification. This isn't about like, you know, having it tomorrow. This is about understanding the long journey and why this journey had to be the way that it is. With the Knight of Pentacles here, we have steadfastness. We have practicality. This is very grounded and rooted energy. This isn't somebody or an energy that makes brash and quick decisions. And then with the Hermit card here, we have deep introspection, deep self-reflection. There is here a connection to Source and also moments of solitude as you connect to Source, as you converse with Source, as you maintain this relationship with Source, either through your own spiritual practice or, um, you know, using things like tarot, divination to connect to your angels, your masters, your teachers, your loved ones. Because what Source is saying here is that there is an opportunity for you to be able to get clarity in the path that you're on, but more importantly, to understand that where you are right now is exactly where you're meant to be. We have the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer and a raven coming up, as I said that. If you don't currently have a spiritual practice in place, I would strongly, strongly recommend that you put one in place so that it may help you and guide you with connecting um, to not only source your masters, your teachers, your loved ones, but also your inner confidence, your inner compass, your direct connection to your highest self. Then we have, ma'am, and we have children of the cosmos, let the universe, um, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So again, we have, we have more connection here to source, more connection to receiving the downloads and then trust the timing, trust the way that you came on time is not running out. Another card of confirmation here that this is all about divine timing. This is all about trusting the process. This is all about understanding the path that is being provided for you by source and almost like, I don't want to say risking it, but trusting it, trusting the journey, trusting the path, trusting the direction, believing that this direction will take you where you want to go, knowing that source is always divinely guiding you, trusting, having that unwavering faith, you know, believing that everything is conspiring to work in your favor. Oftentimes when I work with my students and they feel very stuck or they feel like they lack clarity in their life, it's because they feel like the universe is working and conspiring against them. The thing, Scorpio, is that the universe is always conspiring to work in your favor. The universe is always wanting to support you. The universe is always seeking to show you the path forward, to help you along the way, to empower you, to inspire you, to take you to this next level of your life. Source wants what's best for you for you. Source wants for you to live in the highest expression of your life, receiving luxury, receiving love, being open to receiving and being receptive to the energy of the universe, to being playful, to knowing when to just let your hair down and trust and go after what you desire knowing that even if that doesn't work out, it's because something better is, is coming in into your life. Okay. And then we have rapture, sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, pleasure. 
Imagine every day you could make love to your life. Imagine every day you could tune into an energy where you feel bliss and ease and joy. Imagine you could romanticize every moment and you could just find this, this level of ecstasy in your life, even in the smallest things like making your bed, cuddling to your sheets, etc. Then we have the return, a new story. You decide alignment. It's coming together. Source is really, really supporting you and helping you here in uncovering this new path that I truly feel has been in front of you for a very long time. It's almost like you've been walking in the darkness or you've been unable to see that the door is right in front of you and it's time for you to walk through the door and it's time for you to receive and it's time for you to open up and it's time for you to connect and it's time for you to embrace and it's time for you to tune in like that's the energy we're in right now this energy of receptivity this energy of acknowledging the connection to source of listening right what are the sign sources giving you maybe it's birds maybe it's angel numbers um, maybe it's synchronicities right pay attention to these signs from the universe and then we have come to me attracting like a rose receive abundance desires Whatever you seek is seeking you. Whatever you desire is desiring you. And in this energy here of your reading, this is what it's about when we start calling in from a place of love, from a place of trust, from a trace, place of gratitude. It's almost like the universe starts paying attention to us, relinquishing our need to control, relinquishing our need to get clarity, relinquishing our need to know the answers and just trust, trust and go through the journey of trusting, of believing. And as you do that, okay, as you trust, as you believe, as you enjoy the journey rather than um, feel like you need to get to the destination, doors start opening for you, new opportunities start opening for you, new relationships, romantic career, abundance, wealth, prosperity, all these things start coming into your life so easily. I'm going to pop your monthly video here. If you want to book a session with me, sign up to my mailing list or follow me on Instagram. It's all in the description box below. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, subscribe. So we will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.